This raw picture was shot on Sony Alpha 7 III. I'll see what details I can get out of the picture and will try further to make the image pop. I'm thankful to Carol Babinski for providing me this image. We'll find how much I can recover with the whole lot information on this raw file. First I will start in the light menu. I will try to recover the overall brightness for this image. So I will increase the exposure and shadows which will recover some details in the darker areas. Also increase the contrast a bit. I'll decrease the highlights. This will get some details back in the sky. Also a little tuning of the whites and the blacks. Now I'll go to the color menu and I'll increase the vibrance a little. Now I'll move to the HSL sliders and tap the mix button here. I will tune the colors a bit here. So first I'll start with green. I'll move the green hues towards yellow. And yellows towards little bit orange to make it orangish and increase the luminance a bit so this is affecting the trees also the blue in the sky I will reduce the saturation of it a bit and the red I will increase the saturation also the luminance So I am done with the HSL sliders. Now I will move to selective tools. Here I will try to make the sky a little darker. So I will start with the linear gradient tool that is the third one and drag it from the top left. And reduce the exposure a bit. Now I will add a radial filter here to make it pop. So I will increase the exposure a little here. Also some contrast. And I will add a little bit of temperature here to make it more warmer. So I will just copy this radial filter, I will duplicate it and move one here so that I will make the sky a little bit brighter so that it makes the sun light coming from this area. So I will increase the temperature, uh, temperature is already increased so I will add a yellowish color, yellowish orange color to this. filter at the bottom 
a little increase in the saturation here. I mean the exposure. Also a little temperature to make it warmer. So you can already see the difference here, the before and after. To add some color to highlights, I will go to the split tone that is in the FX menu, split tone and make the highlights more orangish. So I am adding more color to the highlights, also little blue to the shadows. So I am making sure I am just adding a little blue and little yellow. Next I will go to the details menu and you can see already some sharpening applied there. Uh, it is from the raw file but I will use the masking slider with the two finger slide and I will selectively apply the sharpening on the white areas. So I will sharpen that and it is applied only on the white areas. Next I will go back to the light menu. I will try to increase some I will try to apply some contrast here. Let's slide down the shadows a bit to make it darker and make the highlights bright. a little bit of saturation it will also make it more vibrant so this is before and after so this is how you get details back from the raw files and especially shot with a very good camera and a sensor Thanks for watching, see you in my next video.